That's it. That's his house. Mr. Brad Haley? Relax. Did I win something? My sources tell me you've been calling Jack in the Box junk in the box. So? I take these things personally, Brad. Get lost. Sure. Just try my food, apologize, and I'll Listen, go. Be it, clown! Listen, punk! I've spent millions of dollars improving my kitchens to make our best burgers ever! They're psycho! <laughs> Jack. Uh, Brad, you get to try my best burger ever, and all I want is your honest opinion. Tasty. Really? You're not just saying that because I'm kneeling on your spine? No, no, I shouldn't have dished your food, man. I'm sorry, Jack. Well, I'm sorry about the grass stains. Really? No. This message is for the heads of McDonald's and Burger King. Guys, I don't want to tell you how to run your business, but here's a tip. McDonald's, don't let your pre-assembled burgers sit in holding bins. And Burger King, those microwaves you use to reheat Whopper meat? Lose them. Now I know you're thinking, hey Jack, how can we thank you for this helpful advice? Forget it. I'm getting more joy from this than you know. In fact, I'm so excited, I'll be counting the days till you change your ways. Okay. It's been seven days since I clued in McDonald's and Burger King about a great way to make burgers, and neither one's called me to say they're making changes. Maybe McDonald's doesn't mind pre-assembled burgers sitting around. Maybe Burger King thinks reheating Whopper meat in the microwave is okay. They probably just lost my phone number. Let's put it up. Okay, but remember, this is my private line, so don't call unless you're the head of McDonald's or Burger King. Thank you. I'm sick of waiting. I'm calling the owner of Burger King. Kathy, give me the number for the owner of Burger King. It's what? An overseas call? England? Oh, that's right. Burger King is owned by an English company. That explains everything. We kicked their butt 200 years ago, and now they're using microwaves to reheat their Whopper meat to get even with us. It's so obvious. Burger King is owned by an English company. That's why it's called Burger King. Um, Jack, you're on, sir. I could have been an astronaut. I passed the tests, rode the rocket sled. I could be orbiting Earth right now, but I'm waiting for the heads of Burger King and McDonald's to call. Why? So I can help them make better burgers. Is my phone number up? Uh, here it comes, sir. Roger that. Like, uh, your, uh, ultimate... Say it. Steady. Cheese. Burger. Go! Your ultimate cheeseburger. Hi. Yes, we are. We won't make it until you order it. Our best ultimate cheeseburger ever. Now a Jack in the Box. Welcome to Jack in the Box. Two ultimate cheeseburgers. Is that all? Uh... uh yeah. No! Your ultimate cheeseburgers. Hot. Yes, we are. We won't make it till you order it. Our best ultimate cheeseburger ever. Now at Jack in the Box. So... I'm in the elevator and Jack gets in. And I go, hey, and he goes, hey. So I go, Jack, you know your classic Jumbo Jack that's named after you with the fresh lettuce and tomato we sell for just 99 cents? And he goes, yeah. And I go, wake up. You should jack up the price and rake in the dough. And he goes, what's your name? And I go, Benjamin Choule. And he goes, you're fired, Benjamin. No. You tell Benj. Fired? What? Let's go. I this. think he knows. <laughs> Family man, businessman, a can-do man with a plan. He's Jack, and he's not afraid to tackle the tough issues. Education, environment, 
milkshakes. I'm for them. That's why my classic shake combo has a big juicy jumbo jack, fries better than McDonald's, and a thick milkshake made with real ice cream. My opponent is a milkshake-hating extremist, but not me. I have a golden retriever. Paid for by citizens who like classic shake combos. Mr. Box, hang on to your hat, because sales of Jack's Spicy Chicken are about to take off. Imagine, every sandwich comes with Chicken Jack. Cock-a-doodle profit. Spicy Jack Flamenco Dancer. Spicy Jack the Pirate. Arr. Look, people buy Jack's Spicy Chicken because it's a real chicken breast filet that has just the right amount of spice, and it's topped with fresh lettuce and tomato. Flaming Jack. Security. We need to talk, Jack. What's up, Santa? It's your burger, the bacon ultimate cheeseburger. Huge, isn't it? Two quarter pound patties, three slices of cheese, and eight pieces of bacon. It's my biggest burger. I bought one. One burger for 40 elves, and they're so full we're already behind schedule. Oh, yeah. Your bacon ultimate cheeseburger could jeopardize Christmas. That burger was never meant for elves. Hi, Stan. I'm Jack. Our kids are in uh, Little League. Well, I hope my humble hamburger meets with your approval. Of course, it's not as huge as your bacon ultimate cheeseburger, with its two jumbo patties smothered with three slices of melted cheese and eight pieces of crispy bacon. I'm just a hard-working mailman with store-bought buns. I'll just have some beans. Oh, sure. Mock my beans. Let's see, Todd. You've been with us here, Jack in the Box, for... One day. And do you know why you were terminated? I see Jack in the coffee room. I say, hey, Jack, you know that Jumbo Jack with the fresh lettuce and tomato you sell for 99 cents? He says, yeah. I say, but what are you, stupid? Raise the price on that sucker. Mm-mm. See, Jack's pretty committed to that 99 cent price. It's in your handbook. Don't touch that. parking space like you do right outside the building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do I hear 90,000? 90,000. I grew up on your tacos. Thanks. You know, right now, you can get two tacos for just 99 cents. <clears throat> 90,000? I'd kill for some tacos right now. Jack's Tacos rock! Gordo! I used to work the drive through One night I ate 15! <laughs> and we woke up with taco sauce on our hands. <laughs> so it's like 2 a.m. Me and Bert are completely out of our minds. Jack, I want you in my next movie. Picture this. You're an oh undercover God. karate cop who doesn't play by the rules. And you're teamed with a rookie. Or a babe. Or a chimp. What do you think? Picture this. A delicious chicken sandwich. It's spicy. It's crispy. I call it the spicy crispy chicken sandwich. What do you think? I love it. Well, that's too much. His spicy crispy sandwich ain't like the rest. It's got a natural spicy crispy chicken bread. So fired. His spicy crispy sandwich ain't like the rest. Got a natural spicy crispy chicken breast. I got the flavor you're looking for. I'm spicy, I'm crispy, you know you want some more. Spicy crispy chicken sandwich on a bun. I thought I fired you. I gather the ball 
calls for a company retreat. It's a chance to get away from our offices and antennas and enjoy the great outdoors. It's a weekend for building teamwork and trust. The big news for this year is the Sourdough Jack, our most unique burger ever, is now even better because we won't make it till the customer orders it. Jack rescued me from a wild chipmunk. I love you, bro! Excuse me, miss. Who are you? I'm an antenna ball. Can I interest you in a sourdough jack? You're not an antenna ball. You're a head case. Well, if I'm not an antenna ball, how would I know you can now get a warm, crunchy sourdough jack in a combo meal with a thick, frosty milkshake made with real ice cream? And if I'm not an antenna ball, why am I sitting on a car antenna? <laughs> not an antenna ball. Now who looks stupid? Excuse me, miss. Our bodies need good food. That's why every day we should have at least one what? Milkshake. Yes, a milkshake. Thick and frosty and cold and made with real ice cream. And where do we go for milkshakes made with real ice cream? McDonald's. Question? My mommy says ice cream milkshakes make you fat. Tell your mommy to be happy with who she is and stop being bitter about her thighs. OK. <laughs> They're free when you buy a sourdough jack combo. 